John 1, 1 through 5 and 14 echo the rich words of Genesis 1 and creation. Here it is. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him. And without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life. And the light was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is God's Word. It's so remarkable when you consider what Scripture says about the birth of Jesus. Though it was in the middle of the night, it was bright as noonday. And as we are in this Advent season, as we've already lit the candles of peace and of hope and of joy and of love on this Christmas Eve, we light the Christ candle, which reminds us that the light of the world Jesus Christ has arrived, has come to us. And what's so remarkable about what Jesus, who is the light of the world, says is this. He says that his followers, his disciples, not people who live a perfect life, but those who trust in Jesus, he says to them, he says, you are the light of the world. And in the same way that we can look and see this light, this light that has come, this light that will never be extinguished, we remind this great truth that when we receive Christ, we receive that light into our lives. And in a moment, as you see this light spread throughout this room, whether you are a follower of Jesus or not, it's an opportunity to, to just pause, to consider who Jesus is to you. Have you simply received him? Perhaps tonight you're, you're, you're curious. Perhaps there's something that, from the worship, the midst of prayer, from the scripture reading, from the message, perhaps something's tugging in your heart that's, that's not about the God's spirit in the body of God. And perhaps tonight's the first time you can say, yeah, Jesus, I want you. You don't have to earn it. You simply just say, I want you to be my Lord. I want you to be my Savior. I want to follow you. I want to trust you. In that moment, Scripture says that God's Spirit is planted in you. God's life is dwelling in you. And may that truth just sit as we enjoy this life. A quick logistical note is we pass this life. If you have a lit candle, if you could just keep it straight up. And as you can see, Reverend Stuart Tilly Damon, she's the one who. Has received that light, turn it to the side, and where we care Crawford also turn it to the side, so we can see that as the light. We can go to the side and look around and look around.